Hey folks, it's Dave Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Um, just got done with my morning cardio session. It's living after four in the morning and you're probably going to hear my doorbell telling me that there's motion at the door. Um, because it is only four o'clock in the morning, we leave that feature enabled so that we can see anything that's going on at the door. Um, we do have a, a blink doorbell. There it goes right there. We do have a blink doorbell that we can see on our cameras. I've also got a motion centered camera up here that if I move too much in the next minute or two, it's going to go off and it's going to make an audible alarm and a strobing effect. And I apologize for that. But after the porch pirate got me for a couple of cans of gas, I figured it was time to uh, up my security measures at the house. So that's what I did. Um, this video is about paperwork, people. This video is about paperwork. You people understand that you work in a law enforcement agency. Regular law enforcement will probably tell you that we're not law enforcement, but the police take people in, the courts prosecute them. If they get convicted, they come to us. Um, if police are considered law enforcement and we have to enforce the law set forth by a judge, Goodness gracious, that makes us law enforcement. So, yes, we are law enforcement. We don't have arrest authority in the state of Florida, but we are still law enforcement. Um, you got to do your paperwork. All, all agencies throughout the world, a lot of them are going paperless, but all agencies throughout the world have paperwork. Whether it's paperless work or not, it is still documentation that you did your job, the manner in which you did your job, and it is the job is not complete until the paperwork, or in some cases the paperless work, is done. Goodness, it's, it's four times in two minutes. Come on. So do your paperwork, people. Um, if you discover contraband, there's evidentiary procedures that you have to go through, but there's also paperwork associated with it. If you have a serious incident, a medical incident, a fight, a uh, battery, whatever else it is, there's paperwork associated with that. If you have a use of force, there's certainly paperwork associated with that. You have to do the paperwork. You have to get it submitted. Um, if you don't submit the paperwork, then whatever the inmate tells the investigators when they investigate the incident, because the inmates are going to bring it up. If they feel that they were wrong, the inmates are going to bring it up. And if all the investigators have is their side of the story, then their side of the story is what happened. Do your paperwork. Let them know what happened from your point of view. Okay. Um, my goodness. The job is not done, folks, until the paperwork is done. That's all I have for this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications when I post new videos. And uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. All right. As always, there's no place for domestic violence. If you know the victim of domestic violence or you are the victim of domestic violence situation, 1-800-799-SAFE. 1-800-799-7233. That's the domestic violence hotline. The people at the other end of that phone call have the tools, abilities, resources, and are willing to help the victims of domestic violence. If you know the aggressor in a domestic violence situation, please say something to somebody. The worst thing that you can do is nothing. And if you are the victim or you are the aggressor in a domestic violence situation, there is help for you too. First, you have to understand that you need that help. Second, you have to ask for it. Folks, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you on the next one. This is Dave Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle.